So, hello and welcome back to another episode of your Episode 4. We are of course playing with the Amber Fantasy mod as Res Uncant. And currently we are doing a little bit of remanaging of resources. And also, we don't have admin. But that will come around, no worries. Eventually, we will be frolicking in our admin again. We just need to wait. A little bit. In the meantime, I did do a little bit more town hall building in between. Just so that we uh, have stuff going there. On town hall, I mean uh, uh, state house. I deleted some buildings, got some state houses where I saw them, but I then ran out of money, so I stopped. You know, the usual stuff. <coughs> I mean, there's gonna be a lot more territories, right? This is all gonna be stated. I am wondering what this event does, Laurel of Haraf. I mean, we know what this is a reference to, but I still wonder what it does. But it seems like Mina Minada is now alone, so you are not a target. It just takes a hot second. At least manpower-wise, we are completely done. It seems like our sailors are also fixed. At least. Wait, shouldn't we be able to upgrade our heavies then? I guess we already did that. Alright. Uh, we can pick a rival. Garvet, cool. I assume that Garvet is... Uh, yeah. Garvet is an absolute beast in this playthrough. Luckily enough, they have like no f nothing colonial anymore, so... <laughs> My worries are a little bit... Like, it's just nice to see. Do you want to take a look at the Phoenix Empire? They have not fought the Bulvardi yet. But I would like them to do that. <laughs> I mean, I'm... Uh, okay. I feel like Bulvardi would get beaten if these guys finally decide to do this war. <coughs> I'm actually surprised that we do not rival each other, to be honest. That seems like something that should have happened a while ago, but I guess it didn't. Either way, we'll take things as how, uh, how they are. And currently we want coal. Uh, we want uh, admin. Where's my coal? Now imagine remembering the name of that province. God damn it. There it is. <laughs> Get a furnace. Go burning brightly. We do have some rebellions popping up, but we'll see how dangerous they really are. And obviously they are annoying. You guys really want to dev up here the dry coast a little bit more? I mean, the dry coast should have like a shit ton of development, so... <coughs> Alright, but the sailors are coming back. You are still boating around. You should probably sit down and repair yourself at some point. Yeah, I still want to catch up on tech. Or do we just wait for a really ridiculous reduction? Ah, oh, this is coinage. Don't need to care about that. I mean, if we want to spend a ridiculous amount of admin unnecessarily, we could click this button. <laughs> if we ever feel like it. Just to, just to feel that we have far too much admin, we should get rid of it. <laughs> Any changes here? Any new guys? Any years of separatism finally over? Nope. Then we continue bringing the gold provinces. Up to five. I'm not sure why I would do that, but I am.
And we are looking fine. Like at this point, money should have no meaning anymore. Always build that, always build that, always build that. And usually with this stuff, I'm doing it very easily. When I see that there is a point left over, I'll just delete something. For example, an absolutely useless target change. I am very gladly removing because it is absolutely useless. <laughs> this was also a place. Oh wait, this is the same state. This is not, an, not a place. You here. Oh, you're culture converting. Then we have this bad boy. For example, also these conscription centers. I'm very gladly removing as well. It is always a bit annoying. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, of course, conscription centers, I can understand partially that they want to build them uh, around. But why did the marketplaces? Like, that seems to be one of the most uh, useless money spending. Like, just to get a province with, like, two extra uh, trade power is it's useless, right? Or am I just wrong? Or is there, like, some, sec some hidden kind of mechanic behind that that I just don't get? Okay, you still have a space. I mean, you obviously we're gonna get rid of the fort. We are probably losing a little bit of uh, army tradition at the moment. Oh, God damn it! You got too much extra anyway. And even though this takes a while to get all done, I am quite happy. Oh, wait, that's the wrong place. Because this is investment for the future, <laughs> in its uh, in its core. All right, all of that done here. Then we have plenty more to do here. That raining fields actually keep, even though we should not be too problematic. Oh, yep, yeah, switching culture. Then we don't. I see the ones next to you. It was. All of these temples. Okay. Now here an island. Training fields. I just... Oh fucking hell, I... I mean, I also don't perfectly recognize the buildings, I have to admit. <laughs> Some of these are just... Uh, uh, forget about how they look. Because I usually don't play with this kind of culture. So. This should be alright. Let's make some more money in the meantime. After all, we will have this money hole for a while. And now let it rise again. Is this gonna do anything crazy? I mean, I guess we'll just do this here, and we don't know what this is. I assume that we're just gonna do something stupid. <laughs> That's probably happening. That has to, there seems to be a common theme. <laughs> alright, what we're doing alright here. You need, a new gen you need a general anyway. And a force march. And you need a general. And then we can finally punch these armies upwards. I mean, this is also the thing that I'm currently thinking about. We're gonna get more reduction here eventually. And we only need the, tw the, the 27 tech, right? Yeah, the 27 tech is the important one. So we could technically just say screw it and do this rather. Oh, God damn it! of course I forgot to click the thingy now. So I'm currently thinking if this is... I mean, we're now getting to sp to the area that we don't have uh, cores on, uh, claims on. And we will not get claims on. 
So I'm currently thinking if I sh should I should really micro that with the spy network just to have an easier conquest. I'm usually not the biggest fan of that. Because it is a lot of work. Uh, at this point, I guess it doesn't matter. We actually had 73 here. Alright, and we're just gonna wait for the uh, for the truce to be over so we can attack you guys. We could actually have a lot of... Uh, uh, I guess we're just gonna punch a bit more if we would have the sailors for that that is we can have twin at uh, 200,000 that's quite nice maybe we also just calm down our nation a little bit in the meantime with all of these conversions it is a bit of work after all Well read it. Continue with that fun stuff. And obviously there's a lot of uh, gold provinces that we have that are not gonna get this. But there is still plenty left. Uh, I'm definitely taking away the devotion. I'm not losing stability. Because the thing is, when we now get uh, stat boosts, we get admin instead. And that is something that I'm very happy about. <laughs> so, we do need to use the imperialism for the cost reduction. But let's get cracking. They don't really have an army, that much of an army to stop us. We have plenty of defensive activity. And we have some more stuff here. I guess we're now gonna just take all of the military boosts. Just to have this upper hand. Alright. Yeah, but at this point... Ormam is only a... Slight... Slight sparkle from the once great glory that they were. What a disappointment. <laughs> so, I mean, this is a little bit still. You guys are gonna quickly snap at them. Yeah, I mean, in this time, I don't really get that much admin back, but I'm gonna get some admin. I guess we're just waiting for this fort to fall to really get the last bit of war score in. So let's not forget this stuff either. Oh, there we go. We still have some rebellions popping up here. Luckily enough with our Force March speed. Problems will be solved. Uh, we do have some mill points to remove. Let's see about that. Real quick. Then we're gonna look at this list. Aha. Uh -huh. That was someone. It's not much, but something. We are accepting Gavedi. Mm -hmm. I'm not the happiest about that situation. They are big. But I guess we can switch away from some stuff. We've just eclipsed Garvet again, as it is a hobby of ours. There we go. Fuck, I didn't want to click that. <laughs> Too late! 
Ah! Whatever. Alright. Oh, mom. Let's get you conquered. I hope this is one last war. So I don't need to leave all of my armies down here. And you're the last few places that I actually have claims on. Okay. Full annexation. Easily enough done. We cancel all the centralization. This actually also does not much here, but yeah, this is so much cheaper, this area. We do need to core it, right? Has owner's religion. Oh. Well, that's gonna happen soon enough. I assume that you guys are converting this area here. Yeah. I mean, they, you've, done, uh, you've done a lot of rebellion lately, so there's that. But either way, you guys here, you guys here. These three armies are gonna join the Coast Patrol. Talking about coast. There we have enough. You're just gonna do this. And these guys are gonna join this navy. I mean, you guys are mainly walking together, that's why you're taking attrition. So, but this, like I said, this should be alright at least. I'm currently thinking... I could just remove a culture again, and then get rid of them. I think I'm gonna do that. Slowly but surely, we'll do that. We're just gonna accept the cultures that we currently... Uh, don't have an issue with. Yeah. Because then we have time to get rid, rid of separatism. And when the separatism is gone, we feast. <laughs> so. I mean, it's a weird way to phrase it. And we, I think we're not eating them directly, but we're very close to eating them. <laughs> I mean, the only culture that we are not, that I don't want to remove is currently this one here. Once again, just do all of this. In the meantime, do this. I mean, it's just because of the rebellions, there are so many that are so easily con uh, to convert. We're literally just missing that one here. And I, ho I hope this one is that one. If not, there's a few more coming up. Okay, this seems like the rest. No, it's not. Is it really one of these provinces? Well, we'll see. We are converting some of these Kionism and Animist. Those should be these guys. <coughs> But currently... Okay, cool. Uh, gold rush. State house. You guys are still doing a lot of stuff. Do we have still a cold province that doesn't have the thingy? Or what? Oh, you're building a state house. No, we don't want that here. This is a furnace. Apologies, there was a slight miscalculation. So let's do this and see how far we get with this here. We might even finish this up. We might. No, maybe not. I'm not sure how much outside are still missing. But this seems like at least it's cleaning up this area here. There's also not much left. This doesn't give that much, but I still want to have it done. And I guess the next thing we're gonna do is sailors. Yeah. Let's do sailors. I want all the sailors. Ah. <sighs> 
When the darkness falls and Arabia calls, one man. Okay, we, we, I guess we are also getting an idea group. That's definitely gonna be a military one, I assume. Okay, what rebels do we have now popping up? Oh, mommy! Nope. Disagree. Murder. Okay, I can. Okay, you guys are actually gonna succeed. There is some more innovativeness. I don't mind. And that is also gonna be Sun Elven Officers. Why is our infantry officers? Well, whatever. I guess they look. They were looking for some names. <laughs> okay, those were still not what we wanted. I guess we really need to wait for these guys to be caught and then convert them. Hmm. Well, I hope that that is coming up then. We did most stuff here. End of the revolution. Well, at least I guess in some places. Uh, we are now over limits. I guess. What? I'm not even sure what. And I know what that does, but I feel. I, I think it was bad. Okay, we're once again. No wait, there's someone here. And some of these guys are popping up. Who do we remove now? Lalankala? Sure. Let's accept these guys for now. Lalankala. Get the hell out of here. Oh, we have a lot of those. But... We're doing our work. <coughs> so... This really is not dark, damn it. I mean, this is like, I'm not gonna strive for it, but eventually it will be done, I assume. Also, there will become options now anyway, these areas. We do have some admin left over. I guess it is it is time to attack these guys. I mean, we don't want to completely lose the admin, right? Also, I want actually these guys to succeed. That would also be nice. But let's go for Minada. Minada was actually rather substantial for nation. Somewhat at least. All right, you guys come together. How are we looking here? You're still building. I don't even need to ship anything over. I mean, everybody is around here. Oh, seems like we have something else standing around. Boop. So, this is gonna be a little bit of work, but it should not be too difficult because I've not built any forts around. Because we already have that capital in our hands. Cool. That works as well. Okay, you are basically done. Now we just need to occupy and deal with that coinage. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here with your coinage. <coughs> Alright. Now we just need to do a little bit more a little bit of that micro. The the bad thing is now I don't see when the uh, the, the thingy stuff is uh, popping up. Right? The actual uh, auto mission. I mean, I guess we can kind of check every time we convert something, if something has popped up. That is an option. 
Okay, I guess this is gonna be a little bit more work. Yes. We're actually making use of all of this. Not perfectly, but we're using it. Then, of course, is gonna do this a little bit more. Next general gun, and of course, it's once again one of these. Here you go. There we go. Arise from the ashes. After many long battles, a powerful figure rises in the country. Okay. Born with unbelievable great power, Ilvisa first forged his reputation as a powerful mage during the conquest of Taichent, but foreseeing his prestige peaked during the occupation of Kayonia. Today he is a master on his field, a seasoned warrior and a diplomat. Our nation is ready to welcome him as the new son of the sun. No. He is worse than what we have. I mean, he's a mage, but... He's 300. Okay, that was rather underwhelming. Cool. <laughs> because now starting with the mage stuff, I don't think really helps me. I'd rather have this young guy that currently is leading. And is nearly a 666. I think that's a little bit more reasonable. I think this was the general that we got, right? If I c remember correctly. At least there's some consistency there. Where's your armies? You're making this very difficult for me. I mean, I, I guess not difficult, but a little bit long briefly. That's a word now. I would like to end this war before the episode ends. I mean, I guess the war score is ticking up. I don't think it's gonna be one war against Minala, but it's gonna be at least enough. We do need to t take uh, this stuff here and these islands, obviously, first. There we have some enemy. Slowly but surely you guys creep your way towards that. Okay, you are desieging my stuff. That we didn't count for. That is not an option. Okay, I guess we actually are done already, so... Let's do what we do best. We just gobble up. So all of these islands are done. So it's time that we... Do all of this. You are dirt cheap. So maybe we can actually get this done in one war. That's fantastic. We don't have the admin for anything of this, but we are still gonna conquer you. So you're gonna turn into rebels. Yeah, this is actually easily done. You say no to that. Well. These guys who are about to... Ta oh, you guys are actually not fast enough for this. Oh, we're actually winning this. Okay. For a second I was scared there. Actually, we actually won that with these numbers, okay. Now they're willing to say yes to my suggestion. So. That should be at least something here, yep. Yeah. Every grain of sand that burns under the harsh sun of the half of desert will be ours. We got Prestige and Lordi al -Haref. Lodi Lodiev was one of the first one to content upon our arrival. Today, Brackley and an adult, he stood out during the occupation of Ahmadiyya and totally offers and today offers his services and experience for the Congress of Hadaf. Uh, yeah, okay, I guess. I don't care about the general at the moment. I guess we can do at least one more army, so there's that. But these are such underwhelming uh <laughs> We still have to do all of this. I mean, at least we have... Wait, this... Are we getting... Wait, are we getting claims? Is the game just not telling me that we are getting, getting claims? That might be a thing. This sent me, sends me towards Eodans. I saw I don't want to click this yet. But the game might actually give me claims. 
without just without telling me, which is, I guess, okay. Because if that is the case, we might we might even have a future what, when it comes to admin. <laughs> so you guys uh, come around here. You're here to stop these guys. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's 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 do this stuff first. Actually, before we uh, before we call that, so I don't forget it. We make use of the coal. All right. I mean, we can spend this elsewhere, this admin. But been there, done that. All right. Now, this is still the Dana. They have not lost... The Dana go done. Oh, you guys are over here. I mean, you keep converting. Intalian is, uh, is separate. They have separated from all of this. I guess what we are gonna do now is... Just keep conquering. I mean... I don't want to lose these claims. That's the current thing. We have claims on these provinces. I would like to make use of that. So. How, when are we, I mean, those are not permanent, right? Those are just uh, normal claims. Which is a little bit sad. I would have liked permanent claims, but... We'll take what we get. God damn it, Garvit. My coal mining. My... my my precious coal, gone forever. <laughs> Alright, let's get another army on the other side. Well, Cotton is not gonna kick it for us anymore. Oh! This is, this is, this is these guys, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Get someone over. You guys don't even need to. You guys don't even need to get there. You can actually. God damn it! Give give me the boats. <sighs> so, boat here. Didn't even need the assistance. Uh, sure. Right, let's quickly remove this issue. Then we also are gonna... I guess we throw in the spy network guy. Currently we still need that going here. At this point we are really on the, uh, on the kind of... Let's conquer quickly. Kind of time. Yeah, sure, we also do that. This doesn't hurt. You guys quickly stop these guys from doing something. Then you go for the capital, which is, of course, a war goal. All of, all of these ports grow. Ah, uh, sure. General has left us. But if we get this, and I guess we also want this then, right? These guys just want 12 provinces, these guys specifically want this and that. So yeah, we're also gonna attack Edenthal under here. In the meantime, let's quickly just organize this, and then we do that. But, we're also gonna end this episode here anyway. So like always, thanks for having me again, so I guess see you guys next episode. Bye!